What's happening, people? Scott here, Tidy Bricks Landscaping, back off holiday, back to the bloody grindstone of the rat race we all live in, round and round and round. Oh, God. Well, anyway, I've had my holiday. It was a bit crap, to be honest with you. Two weeks, all inclusive, Tobago. Couldn't even get a drink of the swimming pool. Couldn't even, couldn't even, no, oh, fucking rubbish it was. Anyway, right, well. I've been building a wall. Let me pan this thing round. Yeah, I did that yesterday. Um, I just got to top it off now with um, cock and end. No, I'm not being rude. That's what it's called, cock and end. Which is the same as that lot there. Two stretchers and a soldier. So, two stretchers and a soldier all the way down here. I've got my tingle in the middle. I've got my tingle there, and I've got one set up down the end as well, so all my levels are sorted. So I suppose you've just got to stick it together now, haven't I? Last course and all. Yeah, I didn't bother filming the rest of it, because they're balls of crap out of me laying bricks. It really, really does. Right, I'm going to set the camera back up on the tripod, and we can have a chin wag. So yeah, back to the grindstone. So before I start laying, or actually, I might start laying and chat to you whilst I'm doing it. Um, I was actually going to grab my boat level and plumb the soldiers, but the bricks are flipping like bananas, so I'm just going to do it by eye. So no moaning about where's your spinet level for the soldiers. Not using one. Not using one. Pointless. Pointless, pointless, pointless. Right, so I stacked a couple on the wall, saving me having to bend down and stuff. So, yeah, the brick we're using, it's got a frog in the middle, so I'm going to have the full face facing towards the house, rather than the frog face facing towards the house. They're called Cassandra, these are. They're about quid each, something like that. But they're good, because they've got a face on both sides. So, always good to have a face on both sides, if you're doing a four-inch wall. Otherwise, somebody's going to have the crap side, or rubbish. Right, so I shall lay and chimwag. I didn't know what to do. Shall I, shall I even make a video? But I thought, yeah, I'll do it just for the chimwag. Right, here we go. Last course, happy days. All right, let's get this bucket down. So I'm not going to do any... Well, I might do some music, I don't know. Alright, bed down. So yeah, fill in the frog. So the frog facing that way. Um, do you want to see me perp it? Do you really want to see me perp it? Okay. Get the majority on. And finish off the sides. Swing. Right. Yes, so, um, yeah, crap all day, basically. Oh, i got something else to tell you before I, after I lay this brick. Yeah, don't want to have the frog facing up. Otherwise, it's going to fill up with water, so I'll spin it round. Spin it round, frog underneath, bishly bosh. All right, one more, then I'll come over for a chat. And I'm not showing you how I perp it. Unless you can see from there, yeah, you can see from there. Now, always nice the last course, isn't it? Last course, yay! Get ready to stick your hand out. Have some money, please. Right, two more. Right. Top on it. Sit the top on it. 
turned happy days. Fries. Oh, it's all right. I'm okay. Don't worry. Say, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Um, aha. Yeah, so what I was going to say was, new job starting Monday. So, um, yeah, i got a patio starting Monday. 140 metres of slate. 810 mil by 405 mil. And 70 metres of porcelain clad to a wall and about 30 odd meters of birch planks so that's my job for monday so yeah looking forward to starting that one been in the pipeline for about a year so uh, so i got a new guy starting with me monday as well because it's going to be too far for my brother to come his um yeah, probably taking about an hour to get there in the morning on the um, M4 motorway as well, and that's normally full of traffic. So I don't want to put him through that. So I got, so I got a subscriber starting with me. So that's cool. Young lad, Jacob. So, uh, yeah. I shall be up early Monday morning. Bright and shine, fresh job. Fresh job, fresh start. Yeah, it's gonna look nice, this one. It's um, got to do an outdoor kitchen area as well. So that should be, um, that should look pretty cool in the photos. But what's gonna be nice about that job is we're using some design clad from London Stone, court and copper color. So I'm looking forward to using that stuff. But when I use that stuff, this design clad malarkey, it's only five mil thick. And um, there's a good chance that could actually break. So I'm gonna get a hold of Tyler's tools and see if I can get a cutting table off them. Because, um, yeah, I've never used the design clad before. So I'm going to reach out to them, for them to supply me with all the stuff I need to cut it. Because I think they're like 150 quid a sheet or something. You don't want to break any of them. So yeah, I shall be reaching out for a bit of help on that one. For um, help as in equipment. So yeah, back from holiday. Oh, flipping hell. Tell you what, I'm so glad I wasn't working when you had the 36s and 40 degrees malarkey. No way. I would not have gone to work in that weather at all, in the slightest. No way, Jose. So, uh, yeah, this temperature at the moment is only like 23 or 22 degrees. That's plenty. Cloudy, overcast, warm, dry, lush. I can't handle for being too hot. Well, I bet nobody can, can they, really? It's only nice if you sat by a swimming pool. And if you haven't got a swimming pool, then it's a bit crap. Right, I am now, after I eye up that for straightness, I'm going to put it on time lapse a bit and we'll have a chin wag at the end. So, before I go any further, wall ties. There are wall ties in the pillars, as always. Right, I was going to say something. Right, bear a sec. I'll try and remember what I was going to say. Um, bam, 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 oh, absolutely, totally forgot. I'm gonna have to turn this off and turn it back on what I remember what I was about to say. But God, I'm getting old. Getting old, I am. Get old.
balls. <laughs> Remember I said at the beginning, are you gonna face the frog that way? My first brick, I did like that. And all the rest of them I've done like that. <laughs> oh. Do I take it down? What do you reckon? Do I take down, what was it? 10, 20, 30, 40, about 40 odd bricks. Nah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, before I forget. So, oh, hang on. Just made a bit of a... Huh. So, if any of you bought one of those Mosiers from my last video, you thought, oh yeah, great, they're great, and you're not quite sure exactly how to use it, time has come to solve that issue. Uh, the job I got going on Monday, um, Mosier are going to come down and show me exactly what I can do. So, I'm not going to try explain now what I can do, because it does everything. It does loads way over my head. I just use it for measuring the area and perimeter, so I know how much um, type 1 MOT I got put in it but they're gonna show me all of the things it does. So that's gonna be my next video after this will be Mosier coming down and explaining, if you wanna do this, you wanna do that, crack on, you know, they'll explain how to do it. Yeah, I don't wait for me to explain it because, because I can't, I just know that much and that's it. Uh, yeah, my brain can only take too much. I got to flip in. I need some more RAM in my head. I need to clear some memory so I can remember new things. Here's my head shot. Right, back to laying some bricks. Yeah, good news about the Mosher thing. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to know exactly what it does all together. It's, um, it, it, you know, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but for what I use it for, it's awesome. But if I can figure out what more it actually does, happy days. Because uh, if they actually wanted to think of it, they said on the email they sent me the other day, a steep driveway I did in Newport a couple of years ago, one which went like that, and the curves coming round. Wicked job. They want to take it to that job and um, measure it all out and stuff and show exactly what it can do. So I know they're coming Monday to the job we're working on. Um, I suppose as they're in the area, they might want to go to that job the same day. So, yeah, that could be some good stuff coming out, actually, regarding the Mosier. I should start calling you my Mosierites. You're my Mosierites. If you bought one from my Tidy Bricks, 10% um, off Malarkey or 30 quid off or whatever it was. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant tool, brilliant tool. So hopefully you'll get to know more about it. Just like me, I need to know more about it. Oh, till then, I'm gonna get on with this bloody wall. I hate laying bricks. I bloody hate laying bricks. Balls the bejesus out of me. Right, I got a fresh mix in now. So hopefully I'll get this bit wrapped up shortly. Right, back to the time lapse. Oops, 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 oops. Before we get on with the time lapse, bricklayer mix, builder's sand, five to one. Sharp sand patios, building sand, bricklaying. And yes, a little squirt of the fairy. 
Oh, I had somebody messaging me the other day saying about bubbles. Oh, but you get bubbles in the cement. See any bubbles? I think the weight of the cement would crush any bubbles. So that's a crap excuse. Right. Pst, pst, pst. <laughs> Not a crap excuse, a rubbish answer. I declare this wall now open for the public. Yeah, just a wall, nothing exciting. So, right, I just got to join it up now. And I got to get rid of that crap over there. Man with a van, Rob. Um, Rob Anthem, I think his surname might be. Yeah, he's going to pop round tomorrow and grab that lot for me, which is great. And um, yeah, video over. So, yeah, so if you want to find out a bit more about the Mosier, then um, that's going to be the next one. That's when I'm going to see him Monday. So, yeah, we're going to have a little fart round with the machine and just show everybody how it works and whatnot. Um, and then it's on to the big patio, which is possibly going to take me... Uh, I always underestimate it. I always say, yeah, it'll take me about two months, I reckon. And uh, three months later, still here. Okay, walking around, wobbling. Well, anyway, hopefully I get it done as quick as possible. Because that could possibly be my last patio. Fingers crossed. I do enjoy doing them. I have lost my mojo a little bit over the last couple of years. But that's possibly due to not being able to go on holiday and I've got a shit ankle. So, um, so yeah, so that'd be, that possibly might be the last one, hopefully, so. And then I can go around the country then filming all the other people. And I got a couple of mates of mine, Spider and Greg, a couple of bricklayers I know. I might end up getting myself a CSCS card and I'm gonna, I'm gonna film them as well. So whatever I can do to keep you having the content and not me actually having to do the work, that would be Andy, then that'd be good. Right, I gotta join this up, clean the mixer out, do all the faffing round, and then I can go home and sit on my massage chair. Right, later.